All right, guys. So welcome to the Sunday Sauce. Um, this is a weekly training in order to, like a community training. And the goal of this training is to, number one, um, to answer your questions, more like a Q&A session, um, based on your journey so far in the financial markets. If you have been stumbling or you are still blowing accounts, you need clarification in a particular aspect. Um, that's the essence of this Sunday Source session. Um, and then most importantly, we want to go over some setups together. And based on how I trade, I'm going to be highlighting some trading zones, right? These are zones in the markets where you can look to take entries for a buy or sell. So I'll be, I'll be, I'll be looking at my pairs or like any pair that you told me to look at. So we analyze it. Now, I trade smart money concept and the smart money is based on supply and demand, which is basic economics, right? What moves the market is supply and demand. So regardless of your trading strategy, either you're a retail trader or like you're doing whatever you're doing, right? Everything respects supply and demand. So if I'm able to uh, highlight, okay, this trade is going to happen at a supply level or at a demand level, you best believe you will see some reactions there. So. Um, regardless of how you are trading or what you are trading, you can use this uh, weekly meeting as a point of you know, reference or like conference as to where you are looking to take entries on your own setups, all right? So um, feel, feel free to ask, to ask questions. Hold on, let me see if we have. Um, the recording is only available for premium, for people on the premium membership program. Mr. Peter, all right. So for people that are on a free platform, you can only join live, all right? So the recording is for people that are on the mentorship. So if you're on the mentorship, you get a link to access it uh, to go tomorrow, or just check the mentorship library if you see the weekly session, all right? So guys, let's start um, analyzing this. Um, in the absence of questions, let's start analyzing. So send me a few pens that you want me to check out. And then we analyze those pairs uh, together. All right. Is that okay? So sending uh, pairs that you're that you're looking at to trade this coming week. So let's analyze these pairs together. Um, and then we'll see how it goes in a second. All right. Okay, I've just said zero years. USD, UJ, and USD CHF. All right. So, like I always tell us, um, either you are trading supply and demand or you are trading support and resistance. The most important aspect of trading is number one, um, getting your points of interest. Now, your points of interest are areas in the market where you are looking to take entries, okay? And then your points of interest will always be on a higher time frame, right? So either you put your, your POI is on the four hour chart or the one hour chart or on 15 minutes chart is fine. So once you get a point of interest that aligns with market structure, the next thing you wanna look at is now your entry. So the, the, the issue right now is that even though some people are able to get you know, very good points of interest, now the issue is now an entry model that they choose to use. So some people will figure out that they predicted or analyzed that price was going to reverse buy or sell at this particular point. But because of their entry model, uh, maybe their stop loss gets hit on time you know, and other things that they experience. And then they find out that when their stop loss got hit, price started going in the in direction that they predicted. So it is not because you did not predict or analyze the market right, it is because your entry model was wrong. It was not the right time for you to enter the market with, all right? And these are the things that we actually talk about in the premium mentorship where we talk a lot about liquidity um, concepts, right? We, we talk about the concept of buying and selling, right? And 
you know, all those good stuff. So let us go straight into it. And, uh, so let's analyze the market. Euro, so this is Euro USD, guys. Um, if my screen is too small, please um, let me know. I'm using a wide screen. And for people on the phone, it might be very, very tiny. So if it's tiny, let me know. And then I'm going to make it wide. Uh, Mr. George, why are you drawing on my screen? Zero. All right, so let's start with Euro USD. Now, whenever you're looking at a pair, the first thing you want to check out, guys, is the market structure. All right, so I'm on a daily chart right now. Because of time, now I like to start my analysis from the monthly, like we all know. All right, so Odin has said very tiny. Okay, so I'm going to uh, make it one. I think it should, it should be um, a bit better now. So the first thing you want to do as a forex trader when you pick any pair to trade is to um, figure out the market structure. What is the structure of the market? What story is the market telling you? All right? Don't try and trade something else. Don't try and trade your own thing. Trade the story that the market has printed, has painted, right? So that's the essence of market structure. So when I say market structure, I want to know is price in an uptrend or is price in a downtrend? What part of the trend or the is is price on the higher high or higher low? Is price doing a pro trend or a counter trend? So all those good stuff is what I want to figure out. Now, when I look at this, this is a daily chart. And clearly, on, on daily Euro USD, price is in a visible downtrend. As you can see, price coming from the top, you have your impulse move, you have, a, you have your asset corruption. You have, the, you have your correction, you have small internal structure here, okay, and then you have impulse move, you have impulse move, you have impulse. Now, you can see price is in a downtrend, and then we can see this move here. For people to understand market structure, and then you've been a part of my training, you see that this is a break of structure. All right. So this is let me label this properly. Now, when whenever price breaks structure, now you are expecting a retracement. All right. You're just a retracement into a supply zone. So now that we, we have a break of structure, price has started retracing. Okay, so possibly, possibly, now this is not certain, possibly we might see price retrace into this, into this, um, what's it called, supply zone here. But we are not sure yet, all right? So when price got here, now I'm on the daily chart. I like to, you know, take good um, analysis from the four hours. So let's go to the four hours real quick and see what price is doing on the four hours. All right. Apologies if my thing is slow. Now, so this right here is a break of structure. Now, and then we're anticipating price to retrace into this one. So this is the four hour chart. Now on the four hours, let me delete this real quick. On the four hours, what can we see here? Okay, we can see something like this. For some people, they, they they might not count this as a, so you can see impulse, correction, impulse, right? So I can see some form of a um, order flow switch here. Now, this is telling us that possibly price is about to retrace. When we saw this move to the top side here, and then this is a break of structure, this one here. No, I'm not sure you can see. Let me just this right here. This place is a break of structure. Okay, broken to the upside. All right. So we saw this move break this structural point here. Right, and then this now became. Um, a demand zone right here because a demand zone 
is verified by a break of structure. So price came back into this zone, right? And then start going up. So right now, because of this price, obviously is in a downtrend, but because I know, or we know the way market structure is, our price still has possibly, possibly price might get here, all right? So I might be on the good side to look for a counter trend now. So this is a lower low that was formed here, all right? So I want to buy into a lower high. So because price might want to do this, price might want to retrace like this, okay, into this zone and then sell. And then I'm also seeing some form of liquidity here. You can see this is a liquidity point in the market. This equal high is here. Okay, so that is money waiting to be taken. So we can see price move from here into this space. Okay, take out this liquidity. All right, hold on. Try to take out this um, liquidity. So this is money here. So a lot of people might have put some orders here or like some pending orders here, which is enough liquidity to move the market up. Now on the monthly, you will see that overall price is in a downtrend overall. So the supply is in control. So when supply is in control, you're looking for the, the best thing to look out for itself actually. But looking at this market structure on daily price as broken structure, hold on. Let me make this big. I hope I'm communicating, guys. Um, for people with knowledge of market structure, you understand this a bit. But I'm expecting price to come into the zone. When price comes into the zone, look for a sell, um, the sell setup, and then we sell the market to break the zone to form a lower low. All right, is that good? I think it was you know, Abdul that asked the question. So um, let's see if there's a possible um, trade to buy the market into this, or let's see if we should just go ahead with the sell. So I'm going to go back to the four hour chart. All right, so let me delete all of this. Now, again, what we do when we analyze is just to make just to make sense of this chart thing yeah there, there are times that the way it's printed does not make sense but based on your understanding you want to make sense of the market that's the point of analysis so you want to build a story around it and, and let it make sense in line with market structure and then in line with other of the market give me a second i want to make this chart again so I'm on the four hours right, four hour chart right now on the USD, and we already saw, we already see, okay, a change in um, order flow here, and then price. Let me see if I can show you this. And then price is in some form of a range here. All right, price in a range here. So now this supply, this low, this low is still protected, okay? Even though you can see there's a lot of liquidity here as well, okay? That's some liquidity here. So price definitely is still going to come down here. And then possibly we might even see this low come down here because uh, as we know, it's not every time that price value plays to uh, a, a max supply zone or a max demand level. So based on what is that saying us now, if we look at this and if we see, let us take this trend, for example. All right, possibly, Mr. Anthony, possibly. So when we see this zone right here, check it out. You have impulse, correction, okay, impulse, impulse, and our structure here. Okay, so that's what market is doing. So when when market did this, right, 
this was a break of structure here. And then what did we see? We saw price retrace. When we see stuff like we saw price retrace into this one. Now, when this retracement happened, you can see that this high was not protected, uh, was not violated rather. So that means um, there's huge supply pressure here. And then we saw price move downwards here. And we saw price move downwards here. All right. So there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that's already been in play. I'm, I'm not looking for what we can trade on Euro USD this coming week. Now, you can also see uh, this. So let's mark up our structure. All right, you can also see something like this. Impulse, correction, impulse. And then price is back to a supply zone here. Okay, and buy to sell candle. So price on Friday reacted to this one. That's why we had this move here. Okay, so possibly, possibly. So if you go, so let's go to the lower time frame, like 15 minute chart, and see a possible move that might happen. So on 15 minutes, you can see we have liquidity being taken over here. Okay, this is pretty taking, pretty taking here. All right, we saw price moving to this one. This is your break of structure. So possibly if price is going to retrace, now we're waiting for price to retrace into this one. And then I don't even like this because this is also a liquidity point. This is like a double top. Okay, this liquidity. So possibly if price should come back up, if price should come back up, if you are a risky trader, if price should come back up, for example, you might take your entry here. But personally, I think I'll look for price to you know, come, up, come up a bit before I start looking for sales. Or as market presents itself, I'll look for buys into this supply zone, into this supply zone at the top. All right. So um, we still need a lot of data right now to, to uh, determine exactly what, what price wants to do. But assuming it was on Friday that we entered this, okay, we'd have made some really, really good trips. All right. So um, as the market presents itself, I'm going to propose some setups on the group um, for people on the premium on the premium mentorship All right. So this is a good trade that we can look out for. We can see liquidity being grabbed here. This is trend line liquidity over here. Okay. This is a good idea being grabbed because people were putting their maybe stop losses here, 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 here. Now, these um, stop loss are what orders for buys. Okay. And then that's what they might need to move the market all the way up into the zone and then possibly sell it back. Possibly. So when market structure presents itself, we know exactly uh, what to do. But price is in an overall downtrend, and then the sellers have um, the advantage. So that means the dollar is very, very strong um, right now. All right. I hope that makes sense to you. I'm not sure it makes sense to you, but I'm waiting for price to come into this zone, okay, based on other flow. And possibly on the four hour chart as well, the market presented. Um, a supply here. Possibly price is going to come up here too. So if price should come up here for any reason, you're going to take sales because you are now in the this, you know, why why is it very, very risky to take counter trend counter trend trading? Because if you're entering a counter trend like a trade from here, I mean it's a white, like a trade from here. This is a counter trend. It's a counter trend because we are looking for buys. Okay. But ideally, uh, market is in a downtrend. So, in a downtrend, we are looking to sell at lower highs. So, when price is coming from a lower high, price movement is very, very um, slow. But for counter trend, 
So you might get whipped out a couple of times or enter fake out. So it's not a very risky. So you might be very, very willing okay, to wait for price to enter into the zone. All right. So let's check out UAUJPY. Um, UJ. Okay. So UJ has been in an uptrend. Let's start on weekly. So UJ is in an uptrend, as you can see. This is the weekly chart. You can see price has formed a break of structure over here. Okay, this is a break of structure here. So what do we know? When, when we say break of structure, what are we expecting? We're expecting a possible retracement into a demand zone. So this is a demand zone on weekly. Okay, rally, here is rally. Okay, or you can use a swing demand. Okay, the last cell, cell to buy can be over here. So possibly on weekly, we're expecting price. We're expecting price possibly on weekly to retrace either into the zone, or we see price retrace into this swing demand. And then if price comes here, we load it. We look for buy setups. Okay, so on the four hours or 30 minutes, since, since this is a weekly. So let's go to a lower time frame and find out what we set up. So if we are going to look for sell opportunities right now, sell into this zone. So that will be a counter trend. Because right now, based on the weekly charts, we have no signal that price is not, price wants to change direction yet. This is a very, very strong bullish trend on the weekly, and the weekly is a higher time frame. okay? So the weekly chart has, has not given us any information of its intention to retrace yet. So if we are going to a lower time frame to maybe look for a trend range or like a chain of um, character, that is this key trade, the counter trend, it might work, so let's go to the daily chart and then see possibly um, something that we can trade. So we know that price is in an uptrend. All right, good. So this is our break of structure. All right. So this is a demand zone. Demand zone. If you find the demand, you can use here. All right, so nothing on daily two. Let's go to the eight hours. If you go to the eight hours, what are we saying on the eight hours? Nothing as well. Okay, so these guys are not giving us any intention of reversal. So let's go to the four hours. Okay, nothing too on the four hours. I won't take this. So I will consider this a possible signal that price wants to interest. So if price should come back somewhere here, if price should do this on the four hours possibly, but I doubt it though, if price should come here, break this on, and then retrace it back into this on, ahead, that's when I'll know that, okay, this guy is about to retrace, all right? So that's when I know, but this might work, and then this might also fail. Price might just go ahead, uh, from um, a new high because on the higher time frame, still very, very, very much bullish. So I was asking, please can we confirm the yes, the move? Yes, of course, you can. You can. But let us, let's analyze one first and then we'll go to, to the next. Okay. So that's my take on UJ. Nothing yet. Uh, so if you are to look for this, that means we want to be looking for buy for buy setups because it's still very much bullish. All right. So I don't have any um, anything to do with UJ right now. I don't I, I only want to be entering perfect setups. Okay, so um, one thing that I've trained myself to um, learn is to only trade high probability trades. So when the market does not present to me textbook market structure, okay, I look for other pairs. 
there are a lot of players in the market. If one is not giving you the right kind of structure, just go to another player. All right, so let's check out CHLBY. So UJ for me, I'm just going to wait it out because on the four hours, I don't have any, there's no trend change on the four hours. On the four hours as well, there's no price is not in the demand zone for me to buy to continue the, the uptrend because if I'll buy this guy now, possibly, okay, I'll buy somewhere, I'll wait for price to trace back into this structure, maybe somewhere around here. Maybe somewhere around here. Okay, at least, or eventually it will come here. So once the price does all of this, right, I'm staying off UJ for now. Yes, I'll do gold. Yes, you can buy UJ when price gets to a demand zone. So price is not in a demand level yet. I going to expect a breakout or a breakout. Um, Mitchell, I'm not sure I understand the question. Let us see that way. Um, now, the zone that I marked here, this one here, that is the higher low. So if we are to look, so we have to just take this now, for example. Impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction. Well, let me use higher low, higher high. Okay, remember that in an uptrend, you want to buy at higher low. In a downtrend, you want to buy at, you want to sell at lower highs. All right, so if I'm to buy UJ now, I want to buy at a lower high. Right now, price is not at a lower high yet. And the price is still at, um, it's, it's still at premiums. It's not at discounts yet. It's not even um, close to equilibrium as well. So when I take this, okay, so this guy is not ready to be bought yet. So when when price gets in this region and then maybe aligns with these zones, at least I can look for a small setup here. But if price gets here, I think it's just gonna bounce off a bit. Okay. Ultimately, to take this would be like a, a point of liquidity to be grabbed, price will come into this zone and then possibly continue. Okay, so that's that my take. So don't jump into a buy just yet. Let price align properly. Okay, price will always align according to market structure. Market structure always works. Okay, before you start um, looking for supply or demand zones, know what I'm saying, say, no, no the market structure. Okay, so I'm waiting UJ out. So let's check out CHMJPY real quick and then we'll check out gold next. Okay, is that okay, George? So CHFJPY. So let me clear everything in a second. Um, all right. So UJ, now when you go to the monthly, what is UJ? Right. Also, price is on a solid uptrend. You can see this is a bit of structure on the monthly. <clears throat> All right. So the the JPY is actually weak. Break of structure. All right. So when you see that price has uh, broken structure. We should expect a retracement, all right? So because that's where that's where price moves. All right, DXY. We'll do all that later. All right. So that's monthly. So let's go to to the weekly. Weekly is always telling us the same thing. We can see price on the uptrend still. All right, good, in a second. So also price is not uptrend in the weekly. Okay, let me draw that trend for some people. 
for application because it was coming up impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse. Okay, so we are in a range now. This is the highest point of this. So this is a higher high over here. All right. So if price should break this higher high, we now have a new high. Okay, and possibly we now find a zone somewhere here. So this might be like a zone that we can buy from. If price should break this zone. If I should break this zone now, we don't look for retracement into the zone and then look for buys to continue the trend. Okay, that's a pro trend setup. But let's trade what price is signing up now. Now we have price here. If we are to look for buys, because this is an uptrend, if I look for buys, that means we wait for price to retrace into this last sell to buy candle here. All right, but now if we know that price is going to be traced into this uh, demand level, that means possibly, possibly, right, we can look for uh, a sell setup. And now check this out. What has price done so far? We can see a little bit of internal structure change here. Um, nothing actually. We can see based on weekly impulse, this retracement here. This okay, no, nothing valid yet. When it went from trend trend, let's check daily. It daily will give us um, a better, give us a better uh, setup. Good. So on daily, what do we have on daily? Mr. Latif, all right, sir, I'm coming. Let me finish this analysis. Mr. Latif is my boss. So now on, hold on guys. So what, what are we seeing here? So on daily we have this possible now. So we have a possible chain of character on daily that has already happened. We have correction here, impulse here. Okay, um, what did price do on daily? All right, we saw a this move here, a chain of character here. So price, what did price do? Price broke this one because if this uptrend should continue, most of the time, it should not break this structure. It should not break this higher low. Okay, this higher low has to be protected. So, but the higher low was broken, okay, which is a form of trend violation. So we saw price did this and then price retraced into the supply. And what did the supply do? What did supply do? Hold on, guys. The supply push price. Check it out. The supply, okay, push price over here. Okay. And then what did that do? That also did something like this. If we look at this on the daily, just uh, looking at this, we can see that it pushed price into a demand zone. So if you come from here, impulse, correction, impulse, right? Correction, right? Impulse, correction, impulse. It pushed price into this zone here. Now, this is a break of structure over here. Price came a little bit into the break of structure. Now, on on a higher time frame, okay, this is a pivot demand zone right here. So the supply zone pushed price into a pivot um, demand zone here, and then that was what gave room. Gave, um, that that's what pushed price into this um, zone here. Okay, that that pushed price into this zone here, and then what we have this particular zone is still protected. So we are still very much in an uptrend. So this is a higher low. So possibly, possibly now, based on your monthly time frame, based on weekly time frame, we are aware that price is on a very, very strong uptrend. Very, very strong uptrend. All right. So, and then we're also seeing a lot of liquidity here. 
Hold on. Give me a second. We are seeing liquidity here. Okay. This is liquidity. All right. This is another liquidity here that needs to be swept. All right. So in this coming week, what do I see? Uh, based on smart money concept, I'm seeing price do this. If price should be traced, I'm seeing price go all the way up, take car liquidity, okay? And then that liquidity will now push price into this zone, into this um, flip here, here. And then what would that do? That will push price in the direction, in the uptrend direction. All right, so that's what I see price doing, all right? Because why, why the price, you know, price, price didn't even get to the refined um, demand level here. Now, so I don't think that the supply strength over here, okay, is strong enough. So if price should really, it should really retrace based on monthly, for example, if we are looking for a real retracement, we should see price retrace, you know, very well into a zone like this. So we need um, a lot of liquidity to push price to the downside. So what would the smart money do? They, they need to create scenario for a lot of liquidity graphs. All right, so, and then that's what I think is um, happening here because a lot of people, a lot of um, forex traders are going to be putting sell, sales here. Now you can also see this move here. Okay, now a lot of traders will see this as M pattern. Let me give you an example. So as we all know, for, for people that trade reversal pattern, okay, this is an M. Okay, let me make this bigger. Okay, so this is an M right here. So there is a lot of stop loss orders at this stop here, okay? And some are also putting, uh, what's it called? Putting um, orders of buy stops here for price to continue, okay? So what that thing price will do, you can also see some form of trend line liquidity here. So that there's a lot of liquidity here, okay? There's also a lot of liquidity here. All right. So, and then that's why we have been having price, you know, in an equilibrium for you know a while now. You can see price is actually going in a range, okay, grabbing liquidity left, right, and center. So um, the the best place to look out for a good setup is to wait for liquidity to be grabbed. So if they grab this liquidity. At the top here, I look for a setup. If it's this one that, that you know they grab, I look for a setup. So we're not looking on that. But ultimately, price is not uptrend. Uh, the ideal setup right now is to look for um, buy opportunities in the market. Okay, Mr. Mitchell, um, if I explain it. So, yes, um, uh, Chris, I'll check. It next, but let's check out gold. Somebody said to check out gold. All right, so let's check out gold real quick. Now we have been checking out this gold for a while now. You know, as you can see, we will done some some analysis here. Um, so let me just remove everything. Okay, give me a second, guys. All right, so now we we'll check out gold. Let's start from the monthly chart. Like I told you, what is gold doing? What is gold doing, guys? Based on monthly, we all know gold is in a is an uptrend. All right. So, and then we are seeing some activity over here that possibly gold is you know approaching a reversal, reversal into a demand zone, and so there is 
there is no demand strength right now on gold. That's monthly. So we are approaching a possible retracement. Possibly. Let's go to the weekly chart. It might be a, a lot clearer on the weekly. On the weekly, when you check out this trend move on the weekly, you can see price coming from bottom impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse correction, right? Impulse correction, impulse. Right? Good. So, and then price has been bouncing up this demand zone for a while. So, this is a demand zone. Price has been a demand level. Okay. You can see this bounce. And then this demand level has been creating liquidity over here. You can see this equal lows, equal lows, okay, swing low. You can see. So, this demand zone has created liquidity. Okay, and then check it out. When this demand zone um, was active at this point, it has been active twice now. You can see when price got here, price moved up, but it failed to break this high. You can see now it failed to break this high because there's a lot of vested interest from smart money in this high. It does not make sense for them to move price beyond this zone. So this zone was protected, okay? You can see price came up here. So, and then price came up into this zone, but you not break this high. Now, so that means this high is a protected high, it's protected. So if it's protected, that means it now makes this low, it now makes this low a target. And then why is it even a target? You can see a lot of liquidity that is demand zone has created. All right. So even though price is in demand zone here, you can see um, the excuse me, guys. You can see the um, bounce off that happened in these zones. These zones. This zone, this zone here, price is bouncing up here. So even though this price is here, so I would actually um, look for sell setups here for this demand zone to be broken and liquidity to be grabbed here. Okay, this demand zone is no longer holding because the last time that it pushed price to this high, if this demand zone was very very strong, it should take out this high. It should, it should you should not take it out, but it's not taking it out. So this is a protected high. So that means this low is going to be target. So I see price breaking this low this coming week. Okay, this is becoming messy. All right, so let's go to a daily chart. So what do we have on daily? Okay, if you look at the market structure on daily, um Where's my good? So you have impulse correction. You have internal structure here, impulse. Okay. And then correction. All right. So we're in a range. Price is in this range here. Where is it? This is one here. So this is your lower low. And then this is your lower high here. All right. So now, as price is coming down now, we are meant to see if, if um, truly this supply zone is valid, very, very strong, this supply zone. So price came from a supply zone on daily charts, which was like two weeks ago. Now, it failed to even break the high of the supply. So that means possibly it might target this zone. So price possibly should break this zone. But price is not here yet. All right. So if we know that, what can we look out for? Let's go to lower telephone and pause to, to have more clarity on this guy here. Now, on the four hours here, on the four hours, we already saw um, the change of character here to to validate the change in structure from 
a lower low to a lower high. All right, so price push all the way up. Okay, so price is back to this zone. And then we saw a bit of uh, bounce up at this, at this extreme low here, at this extreme demand. Oops. One second. All right, so for gold, what is the other flow for gold? Okay, so price is still very much in a downtrend. So on the four hours now, the downtrend is showing something like this. Okay, we have price coming from here. Okay, impulse, correction, impulse. Okay, correction, impulse. So price possibly on four hours needs to come into a supply zone. Okay. So if you look at, so let's find a point in, in a discount. Okay, so price already in a zone. So I would wait for price to enter somewhere like this. This is the continuation pattern supply over here. So I'll wait for price. Maybe this will happen in the next few days. I will wait for price to come all the way up here. Okay. To come all the way up here. And then when price gets here, I sell. Now, what we also have to do, this is also liquidity that price. So price, if price will come up here, price will grab liquidity here. Okay, so there's an inducement here. Okay, so once price sweeps the liquidity, okay, that's enough possible volume that they need to push price down to break this up. All right, so if price should get here, I will look for um, sell setups because price aligns with the supply zone. Okay, there's also a sweep of liquidity at this point. Mr. George, is that okay? I think you have a question, right? All right, so let's do NTD US next and then we'll do Yoka. All right. So if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. There are, there are some concepts that I cannot really explain to us. Um, I see somebody asking me, I should explain chain of character. Uh, if I explain that alone, that's going to take me like 30 minutes alone because for that, I have to explain to you what internal structure is. Okay. And then I'll explain to you some entry models. Right. So all of that is concepts that you know, we are teaching in the premium mentorship platform. All right. So for um, so forgive me if I cannot tell you some things here, all right? So let's check out NZD USD guys, real quick. NZD USD. So you just want to um, what's it called? Just get on the charts and then do your best to understand what price is saying. That's all. You know, I know that for some people. The, the major issue is that you don't really know, you're not sure of your analysis, okay? It's fine to be sure of your analysis, okay? So when you analyze a pair and then you lose that trade, you have to go back and then um, know exactly how you, why you lost. And then as you are losing, okay, so that will make you do your analysis um, a whole lot better. Let's check out monthly on NTD USD real quick. So what do we have on NTD USD, guys? Is price an uptrend or a downtrend? Hit me. Is price an uptrend or a downtrend? Check out this chart. Based on monthly. Happy Z. Yes, if you are on the membership platform, you would you get the you get the recording. No, no problems. So I'll actually tell you about how to get on the mentorship shortly. All right. So guys, check out this guy. This is uh, okay. Is price in a downtrend or an uptrend? Good. Has been downtrend. All right. So USD is very, very strong. So let's check out weekly. So what is guy, what is price doing on weekly? Price is also downtrend on weekly. Uh, the last supply is on. That price is acting from this the last buy sell candle over here. So you can see that this is the move 
that is controlling this guy. Impulse correction, impulse correction. Okay, so price is back into the demand zone. Okay, price are even broken the zone. Okay, so let's go to a lower time frame and let's see a possible setup. All right. So we're on a downtrend, so we're looking for sales. So let, let's let's go to daily. So daily on NZUSD. Okay, what is it telling us here? So press my tool. So you have impulse correction. Okay, impulse correction. You have this small internal structure here. Okay, so now. Let's check out what price is doing here. So let me make this bigger. You can see, will you call this a break of structure? Just a question. As you can see, this is extreme low here. Will you call this a break of structure? As you can see, there was price just weak this point. Okay, so personally, when I'm when I'm looking at swing structures like this and then trying to determine the order flow of the markets. When I see price do something like this, I don't consider weeks as you know uh, as a structural break. Okay, so I consider weeks in this point as a liquidity grab. So for me to consider this as a downtrend, as a lower low, I need to see uh, a sell candle break and close below this zone. Okay, so until that happens, then I'm not going to start looking for um, tries to enter into this zone here. So this is um, an internal swing, uh, yeah, swing of supply. So um, I'll wait for price to still come all the way down and close below this zone. When that happens, I wait for price to enter into this zone. When price does that, I look for price to form um, lower low. So that's what I wait for, please. All right. I wait for that to happen. So the supplies already have it. Okay, they're taking on liquidity here. Okay, so I'll, I'll wait for price to break this zone properly. When that break happens, right, I'll wait for price to enter this zone and then I look for sales. Let me go to to four hour charts and then maybe to clear out on four hours. Okay, so on the four hours, we can see. Okay, so someone said it is stop point, possibly, yeah. All right, so on the four hours, what do we see? Okay, now it closed below on the four hours, and then we can still use the liquidity graph here, and then on the four hours as well, we also see a change of character over here. So which is which is a signal that price should possibly, uh, what's it called, be traced into the zone. But before that happens, we might see price come back into the zone here. Come back into the zone. This coming week, we might see price enter the zone here. And then that's is what we put that will push price up. Hold on, on my brain. So we have seen this break here, we have seen this break here. So we are expecting price to come back into this demand zone and into this zone. If price comes back, this is a four hour supply as well. Okay, we will sell here. All right, so two things. If price will retrace into this zone, we'll go on a lower time frame and look for um, entry based on our entry model to push price into the zone here. Okay? So Chris, that, that's what I'll do, Chris. So you use, I wait for a confirmation entry here on the 15 minutes, and then I'll go lower to the one minute to find entries as well. All right? So any other, we should do GJ, right? GBPJBY. So DBY is very similar to what we have on CJ and Uber. So let's just check it out. G, 
GDPJPY. GDPJPY. All right, so I don't want this session to be very long. So let's just run this session shortly. So GJ guys, this is GJ. So let's go to the monthly. Okay, so what do we have on the monthly? What did GJ do on the monthly? Okay, who can tell me what price is doing? What can you say price is doing? Based on based on monthly, is it on a downtrend or an uptrend, or price is just consolidating? Let me bring everything here. So check it out properly. What is price doing? So you have this look here. Okay. We have this mode here. Hold on. Someone sent me a message. Someone said downtrend. Someone said uptrend, 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 uptrend. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm looking at the, the overall, overall move. Hold on. I'm not only focusing on this. Um, I'm not focusing on this on this place alone, guys. I'm, I'm looking at everything and I'm trying to figure out what price is doing. So this low here, good. So this is low. Okay, because I'm all right, guys. So we have something like this. And then we have a break of this guy here. This is a structure break. And then what did we see? We are seeing price retrace into the swing demand zone, which is over here. Swing demand. Okay, so price is um, reacting from a demand zone. So this is, a, this is an uptrend waiting to happen overall. So this would be an established uptrend when price um, goes ahead of this zone here, over here. Okay, but it's a it's a pro trend um uptrend. So so the the demand is in control actually. So let's go to, to um the weekly and then so that means our best buy our best bet will be to look for buy opportunities, buy opportunities on this guy. Okay. Already I'm seeing some liquidity here. I don't know, but I'm I'm expecting price to come up here and then grab liquidity. Okay, so when you look at this on weekly. Not anything to look at. So let, let me go to the daily chart. On daily, what do I see on daily? Let me give everything here. <clears throat> All right. So on daily, let us mark out the structure on daily. Um, to be clear, you have this here impulse correction. You have internal structure here, impulse correction, right? And then this is the zone you are trading in. As price broken this zone a bit, so there's a week here. Okay, so let's say this is a zone, this is the range you are trading in right now. And then overall price is now uptrend, isn't it? So now what can we trade in this guy? You can see price has been moving in equilibrium. Okay, from here you can see. You can't really say that price, based on what price is doing here, okay, there's accumulation of, of, of distribution here. So you can't really ascertain what price wants to do here, anyways. So if you go to lower time frame, it might be a bit clear. All right. So, but we are in this zone, and then price, um, price took out this high here, okay, just a little bit, just a little bit on here, okay. So if price should do that, hold on. Uh, where's my arrow? <clears throat> so if price should do that, so price came up to up here. Okay. Like I said, this is also liquidity. I can see this this possibly an equal high here. So I see price coming up into this one. So if price did this, you can say 
this is a possible. So let me draw this one. This uh, demand level here on this guy. All right. And then what do we have? Price retrace into the zone. I see the retracement impulse correction and then full box. Okay, so we can see a change of character that you know happened there. And then this should be the extreme over here. All right, or the flip rather. All right, so that the flip that caused the change of character. So possibly we are seeing price come into this zone this coming week. This on the daily rather, this on daily. So price might come into this zone. Okay, now. What is something that is also very, very clear in this zone? Because I'm thinking like the smart money and thinking where traders will put their stop loss and things like that. You can see over here is a double top. This is an M pattern, an M pattern that, that has already you know, played out. Now, some people might still want to be selling the old M pattern downwards. And we have a lot of stop orders here. We have a lot of stop loss orders um, at this point here. Which is liquidity for us. Um, there are people also putting um, what's it called? Putting buy buy stops here to buy the market here. So you have stop loss orders here. You have buy stops orders here. Okay. So there's a lot of money in this zone over here. So if price should for any reason get into this zone, okay, I think it's going to break this liquidity. Okay, and of course this is also a surprise zone. So price might just. Uh, Okay, this gets in the next order. Let me do it as before. So, prime might just uh, in a second, guys. So, prime might just spread this extreme here, which is a supply. So, you, you, might, you might see price. So, a good zone to enter for a sell will be for price to enter this zone here. Now, when pressure enter this zone, I already swear the beauty. This is the use that with the beauty sweep. Okay, which which would be like enough, enough um liquidity to push um, the market downwards, okay, or possibly go higher. All right, is that clear? So I think someone asked me to do US 30. So let's do US 30 next. So right now, um I'm not seeing any sweet setup on any of the pairs so far. Okay, so like we all know, the real and good setups start to happen on Tuesday. When you understand market cycle and market geometry, you understand that a lot of these setups align. Uh, they they align mid uh, midweek. So. Anywhere from Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, is when you start seeing some very, very good setups. Okay, because just like you know, when you start work on Monday, business is usually very slow on Monday. So major activities happen during the week. All right. So that's when you start seeing the real moves in the market. So accordingly for us, I'm not seeing anything that we can trade right now. Well, as I see them, I'll be posting some setups in the in the group. For people on the mentorship group, we made a lot of money last week. I presented out a setup on um, CJ last week. Uh, also, I presented a setup on this CJ, CJPY, and, and I think USD card or KJPY. I'm not sure, but like we are, we are very, 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 very positive trades. Okay. Yeah. So let's check out the US 30 indices. Um, I think this should be the last pair that we check out. Okay, US 30. Okay. So US US 30 is an indices of the top 30 top 30 companies on Wall Street, okay, which is uh, New York. So it's it's a stock indices, it's not actually a currency pair. Hold on. All right, so let's go to the monthly um, I don't trade US 30. If you're trading US 30, okay. 
you know what you're doing. Alright. Let me use cross here. Pepper star. Good. So this is US 30. And then you're seeing uh, price is an uptrend. Of course, the best setups that you see on US 30 are buy setups. Why is it good to look for buy setups? Because these are top performing companies on Wall Street. All right. So if a company is on Wall Street, okay, they're actually very, very high performing uh, companies. Um, that means most of the time they are likely to you know, keep making money and their stocks to rise. Okay, because it's not just one company, it's 30 companies, the indices of the performance of 30 companies, right? So um that's so it's a it's on a general uptrend on monthly. Uh this is the break of structure. Hold on. Break of structure that's on monthly. So for retail traders, this is a support zone for the traders. So there's a lot of retail traders that trade US 30 that is trading this um, support, this bounce. So, so there's a lot of orders here. So just right off the bat, we, we know that there's liquidity at this point, okay? But support and resistance don't move the market. Supply and demand moves the market. So where is the next demand zone? If we are to see the next up move on US 30, we need price to get to the demand zone here. So this is a um, swing demand here. So the, the what's it called? The destination of this guy is here. So when price gets to this zone, we're looking for buy setups, and then possibly we are, we are, we are going to see um, all-time highs on um, US stocks. So and then of course we have also seen a lot of you know change of character here, trend, trend um, changes here. So price is on a downtrend. So let me go to weekly charts to declare on weekly for you. So price is on a downtrend now based on this. We've seen a lot of break in break in structures. All right. So US 30 is on a general downtrend right now. And then the ideal zone where price needs to get to is this demand zone right here. So we should be selling ideally until price gets into the zone, all right? So based on where price is right now, what exactly can we look for in order to enter the market? All right, so you can see price has been reacting from supply. So let's draw, let me go to daily charts. <clears throat> So that would be a bit. Guys, are we, am I communicating? Give me some feedback. I've been talking for a while, for a while, for like an hour now. Give me some feedback. Are you getting value from what I'm doing so far? Just um, type in one, you are getting value. All right. Let me know if um, people are following me. And you know what? What you are learning subconsciously is how to analyze the market from top to bottom. Okay, top down analysis. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let us round up real quick. Um, we've spent so many hours here. Oof. Almost an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, so let's round up with this guy. So US 30 on the daily time frame. This is US 30. So what do we see here? Okay. Now I'm I'm seeing something interesting as well on US 30 that possibly is telling us that maybe price was from a higher high. But check this out, guys. So on, on daily, what am I seeing on daily? Uh, what's the third is? So we have price coming from here, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, okay, impulse. All right. 
can you say? So Christ has broken this lower hierarchy here. And then what Christ wants to do, Christ wants to retrace into this extreme demand zone here. So I see Christ coming into this zone. So possibly, possibly, Christ needs to get into this zone actually. But we also take our liquidity here. So if we see Christ come into this zone, right, we, we might see a bit of a bit of bounce at this place. Uh, where is it? A bit of bounce off at this place. Okay. But that bounce, I think, is going to be short-lived. All right. Because price needs to come down into a demand zone. So when that bounce happens, I see price coming into this strong demand right here. So it's when price gets into this zone, okay, that's taking a lot of liquidity, like we talked about, price is in support zone. So price will now take off from this zone here. All right, so that's what I think price is gonna do. So we can look for sales into this zone. So if we go to a lower time frame, like a four hours, so let's look for a sell setup. Let's, let's go to four hours. Can we see a sell setup? So a sell setup on four hours would be what? So, we're, so price already, so we want to look for price to break this zone properly. So this is a supply zone here. All right, so you want to wait for price to break this zone properly. We probably are there, we trace back into this zone. So we try to come back into this zone, then we look for a sell opportunity here, okay? Now, when you sell this, it's either, you sell it somewhere here, <coughs> hold on. Somewhere here, and then you take your exit here, or you, you take your partials here, and then you leave the rest to enter the demand zone. Okay, so it's left to you. So, but I don't recommend you enter for four hours. You go to a lower time frame, like, like 15 minutes, and enter with your entry module. Because if you enter on four hours, your stop loss will be too high. Okay, so go to a lower time frame. Use your entry model to enter on a 15 minutes chart or like a one minute chart, and then um, that will really, really help you. All right. So I think I've analyzed all the pets. Any questions so far before we the night? Um, any questions? Let's end this call in the next five five minutes max. Okay, five minutes max. All right. So guys, um, while I'm waiting for your questions, let me talk to you about the premium mentorship. Now, um, I'm rebranding. If you have been seeing my updates um, the last couple of days or weeks, you see me talk about the Vantage Trading Academy. Okay, so we are rebranding from Forex without sales. Let me let me write this down real quick. Okay, so I'll be out with some marketing materials uh, in the next couple of days. So we are rebranding from hold on. In order to serve you guys properly, we are rebranding from. So from Forex without Tears Academy. Okay, now we are rebranding to Advantage, Advantage Trading Academy. Okay. So because the Forex, Forex limits you to only Forex pairs. So we want to add um, some more services to, to, what, we are, to what we are going to be doing. So now the advantage. So the advantage with academy is going to cover every aspect of the financial market. Uh, going to be a lot more, a lot more in depth. So we're going to have uh, myself, some trainers as well, some educators um, on the platform, and then some services that we're, that we're going to be offering is going to be um, we're going to be offering daily live analysis. Okay, so every day. Maybe doing a London session or New York session, daily live um, sessions. Now, just like what I'm doing every Sunday now for the free community, for people that are on the premium community in the Vantage Trading Academy, every day from Mondays to Fridays, maybe doing, doing another session or New York session, we are going to be coming live 
okay, to analyze pairs together, to spot set up together, okay? Then, as well, you also get access to the Vantage Arsenal, so which, which is the updated, the updated video library. Um, I've been working on the updated video library. There's a lot of things on that smart money concept that you know I've added to my trading game that have helped me uh, to be a lot more profitable, right? So those additions will be, will be on the new library, and then we're also going to be having um, like a commentary daily commentary so so like everybody will be added to the discord server and on that discord will be doing pretty much an analyzing pair so the pair that i'm looking at um, i'll analyze everything step by step so that you are probably carried, carried along as to um, all of these pairs uh, and then when we're about to enter as well you can enter with pending order so it's not exactly a signal group but if you follow the, the analysis, okay, you're able to pick the signals and then know exactly where to enter on those pairs. So I'll, I'll be focusing on, on just my own pairs. I trade uh, mostly um, CJ, UJ, USD card, and Euro, and Euro USD. Maybe, maybe like four, four to five pairs uh, that I'm focusing on majorly. And those updates, I'll provide them on the um on the commentary section all right so uh it's a whole lot of value that you know, i've been working on uh behind the scenes and this is to ensure that honestly what i'm creating now is only for serious traders now if you are someone that you are saying forex is not what you want to do or you actually not want to do you know you only find it valuable now for people that really that really, really want to be successful in their forex trading game okay you have you will have access to mentorship, okay? Real mentorship, daily mentorship, okay? That can help you become very very successful. You'll be able to grow your personal account. You'll be able to have access to uh, prof firm funding, and then that funding will show you how to grow your account. You get access to psychology and ongoing training. So it's going to be um, something very very um, amazing, okay? Yeah, so um, I'll give us updates on that maybe this week or like next week to be open to everybody. Um, I'm thinking of putting it at, so actually it will be like $100 every month for people to access. Uh, but I'll give people, maybe for everybody on the platform, I'll do like a, like, like a one month um, access for everybody. But, for you, for you to do that, you must maybe uh, do something, maybe deposit some money in your account. So let's know that you are very, very uh, serious. So guys, so be on the lookout for updates about the Trading Academy. It's going to be very awesome. Yes, Mr. Benja, so it will be $100 every month. $100 monthly. Um, so Mr. Stanley is asking, how did you set the risk to reward ratio of value? Oh, there is, there is a tool on trading view that you can use. Okay, it's called a long position. So just come to, where is it? Sir? Just come to prediction and measurement tools on the, on the left hand side. You see the first two, the long position and short position. So that will be set to the master. Okay, so someone is asking, is how to put stop plus 25, please. Yeah, so Mr. Mr. Agnes, just just chat me up. Um, there's a video that I did on MT5. Uh, so I'll just give that video again for you to watch. It's very simple. All right. All right. So guys, thank you so much for being a part of this session. Um I've had amazing fun um, sharing, sharing with you guys. I hope you got value from this and I hope you are inspired um, to master this trading skill set. Okay. Like I always tell people, guys, forex trading is not, is not easy, to be very honest with you. No matter how people paint it to be easy. All right, it's not easy. You cannot um, take away time that you spend on the chat. You have to take away, you have, you, have, you have to spend time on the chat. 
there's no amount of study or mentorship that you receive that will replace the time that you spend on the charts. You, you need some adequate screen time, right? So um, take your time, don't be in a rush. I tell people, give yourself six months to a year to master this thing, okay? Six months to a year to master this thing. And then you'll be thankful that you are very, very patient, right? There are a lot of people that come into the forex market with a mindset to quickly double their money, okay? But eventually, that money that they, that they want to double, they lost the money. So people um, that are going to be in the market for long are people that have a long-term perspective. Of course, it is very, very, um, it's very, very easy. It's very, very easy to to flip your account. Now, I know people that flip their accounts and they are very, very good at it. Now, those people did not get there in one month or like in one year. It took them years. So you cannot get the result that they are getting either you just got started. So devote time to um, this thing and then you master it. You find that you, it will just click at a particular point and then you know exactly what to do. And screen time, time on the chart, time trading also helps you with your psychology, helps you with your mindset as well. You know, like I always tell people, mind, method, money, okay? What most people focus on in trading is the method, which is the strategy, okay? And then, guys, the method is just 10%. Mind, which is psychology, is 60%, okay? If you are not strong in your mindset, no matter the mentorship that you have, no, no matter the trading system, you will still blow your account. Guys, there are a lot of forward educators online on YouTube that are actually very, very good. And then they have students, and then they teach those students the way they trade. But those students cannot see the kind of money that they are making. Why? Because they know the method, but, but they don't have the same mindset. Okay, so psychology overrides the method. All right? And then you have to build psychology. It's, is built, okay? So you have to um, do away with fear, do away with greed. You, you, have, you, have, you have to be able to follow your trading plan, okay? It's very, very important, okay? Um, don't be greedy as well. So, so Stanley, how do I get? My one-on-one -on -one mentorship is $1,000, okay? So it will be like a three-month mentorship um, online, or if you are in Cyprus here, you can do, um, physical session from time to time. So, but it's a thousand dollars from food to take you um, one on one. Okay, Rosalind, I'm in Cyprus currently. Okay, all right, guys. So, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So, for for I'll see you in the Telegram community. If you have any questions, feel feel free to ask a question in the Telegram chat. Um, and then when when you start practicing, you know. Write down your questions. Next week, Sunday, we'll be here again. I can bring you live and then you ask your question and then I can write answers to your questions. All right, how that makes sense, guys? So, how do you join the channel? The channel. So, let me just put it in the here. So, it's a Telegram channel. Go to www tobyokunoga.com forward slash fwt hyphen telegram. So I'm going to copy this and then also paste it on the chat box. So it's a free community. So uh, you have access to a beginner trading system on the community. So just check the pin message, guys. So guys, it will be an amazing um, couple of weeks. A lot of things, things that I'm working on um, that I know that you guys will benefit from for people that are really, really serious with, with forex trading and they want to make money, okay? I've got an amazing service to offer you. Um, so you have to make the investment to actually be a part of it and then you make money. Mr. Anthony, don't worry, chat me up. You are on the premium group now. 
So maybe I'll have a session with you, okay? We don't have time again. Is that clear? All right, guys. So let's have um, a remarkable week. I wish us all the very, very best this new week. More money, more peeps. And then when I start making money, please remember me. My account number, I can send it to you. Um, I have dollar, euro, naira, Turkish lira account. So don't, don't chop alone. Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I wish us all the very, very best. God bless you. I'll talk to you some other time. Cheers.